Let's take a look at the solubility of CCL4 in water, H2O. CCL4 is carbon tetrachloride. So if we look at the molecular structure here for each one of these compounds, CCL4, it has a carbon in the center, and then it has four chlorine atoms around it, but they're all pointed in opposite directions. So even though there's a difference between carbon and chlorine in terms of electronegativity, all of these dipoles, they cancel out. That means that CCL4, that's going to be a nonpolar molecule. If we looked at the surface of the molecule, that would look like this. An area of red, that would mean that we would have a negative charge. An area of blue would give us a more positive charge. So really, around this, there's not much difference. In contrast, water, H2O, it's not symmetrical. These two lone pairs right here, they're pushing the hydrogens down. So we have oxygen on one side, and on the other side we have hydrogen. So there's a big difference in electronegativity. If we looked at the surface of a water molecule, that looks like this. Now you see this negative up here where the red is, the oxygen, and then down here with the hydrogens, we have more of a positive. So if you had two water molecules, they'd be attracted to each other. The positive and the negative on each water molecule would line up. And that's hydrogen bonding here for water. But CCL4, it does not have that dipole. So all the water molecules, they'll stick together, and then they'll kind of push the carbon tetrachloride out. It can't mix with them. So because of that, carbon tetrachloride won't dissolve in water. So we say that carbon tetrachloride is insoluble in water. We should note that a very small amount of it will dissolve, but still it's so small that we say that carbon tetrachloride is insoluble in water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.